This is the motor out of a Black & Decker blender. You can see that I've excised the side of it with uh, a grinder in order to expose the commutator bars. Starting over. This is the side. This is the motor out of a Black & Decker blender. You'll notice that I have excised the side of it with a grinder in order to expose the commutator. My hope is that by powering it directly through the brushes we can catch on the high-speed camera the moment when the commutator bars explode. We're going to run a 1500 frame rate with an 8 second film duration time and a 90% pre-fill. So 90% of 8 seconds uh, is going to be pre-recorded. The hope is that when I finally do mash the button, it will catch the chaos that just happened. And then I wait for carnage in order to mash it. Here we go. All right, everything's ready. All right, we should have got it. Did she blow any bars? Nah, she blew some wires though. That one, that's an industrial blender, but in testing I was able to get it to spin as long as I pre-spun it with the drill. But I cannot get it to spin up a second time. It's just too big and it doesn't want to do it. And I've had it catch fire now twice in the attempt. That was the one I had the, the greatest hope for, because this commutator bars are massive. 